Good morning. It's Monday morning, about 8.15, and I'm excited about the week. Gosh, it's going to be an exciting week. Don't really know what all's happening, but I do know I'm traveling to Colorado. I'm going to go dog sledding. Just imagine that. <laughs> okay, so at 63, I'm going to be dog sledding. But um, I wanted to jump on this morning. I'm Dr. Nancy Stanley, physical therapist and health coach, and I've got something on my mind, and it came from a conversation that I had with one of my clients yesterday, and we were talking about um, being able to concentrate and follow through and not get distracted with our thoughts, and she brought up a conversation that she and I had had, I don't know, several months ago, right after we first met, about the fact that you know, we are the puppeteer of our life. So we're up there holding the strings and and we can actually change the the play. You know, I love to say zoom out and and rewrite the script. Okay. So whether it's about health, whether it's about your marriage, whether it's about your relationships, what you're thinking, whatever it is. Hey Denise, hey Stacy, hey Winnell. It, it is up to us. We do get to choose. Now, I know there are certain things that are outside of our choices. Things happen to us. People have wrecks. People get cancer. People, things happen. But a lot of times, even those are choices that we make. Okay, so I'm just sitting here this morning listening to uh, Stephen Furtick and Dr. Carolyn Leaf. You know, I love Dr. Leaf. And she's talking about how we literally, with our choices make, create our brain. A thought is real. It's not just a feeling. It's actually a pathway in our brain. This is uh, neuroscience, neuroplasticity. And so when a thought comes in or an idea or an experience, we, we, we take it and we, we match it up with our past experience or our, our childhood or something that happens to us. And that's how we decide what to do with it. Okay. So today, I want you to ask yourself the question, are you deliberately planning a, a day or a week that is designed by you? Or are you just allowing things to happen? And the way you design it, the way you choose it, the way you, uh, it, it is manifest is by what you choose, okay? And if you're choosing to think, into your life, to plan, to schedule, to uh, deliberately choose to not do or do things that are going to serve you, then that's how you change your life. So this client and I were talking about the fact that, you know, she gets in the bed and she starts thinking about uh, a disease and she gets, she jumps up and she looks to see, read about it. And, and so she doesn't, she doesn't rest. She doesn't go to bed relaxed. And so she's, she's, she's struggling. And so I told her, I said, well, let's create a new way. And so we talked through, I asked her, what could you do? What's a conversation you could have with yourself that would keep you from jumping up and getting out your phone and reading up about something? And so we talked through that. So it's, it's, it's that simple but you have to be intentional about it. So I just want to encourage you today, if you want more information about this, I'd love to talk to you about it. And um, I, I'd, I'd love to help you to create a new way. Just like for me, there were things I worried about. I don't worry anymore, okay? I learned how to train my brain to not worry. And I'd love to help you with that. So message me, let's get together, uh, and, and let's learn how to go within so that we don't go without. And I hope you have a great day. I hope you'll choose. Uh, and it's not a flippant, like I'm just gonna choose happy thoughts. It's more than that. It's much more than that. So let's talk soon and y'all have a great day.